Good morning everybody. Today is Saturday. We woke up to 34 degrees again and the wind is just now starting to pick up. But I thought I would show you the inside of the trailer. Remember, it's not pretty. Um, but it's functional. Everything works. There's no leaks. And it has 200 watts of solar and 200 amp hours of battery already. So that was actually, um, had, a, had a lot to do with my decision in getting this. Um, and a dual axle, which is nice. So let's go take a look inside. Okay. That is a couch and convertible sofa, and this makes into a bed, which of course I would never use. Um, the sofa needs a new uh, mattress. I, I'll probably make it into a bed and just leave it as a bed. I'm not sure yet, um, but there's tons of storage. Got a four burner stove and an oven, a double sink. Um, there's storage under both um, seats. Try not to make you dizzy as I turn. Um, has a, you know, your typical RV refrigerator with a freezer on top. It has a bathtub and of course the toilet and closet there and drawers. Oh, and there's there's me. So, I'm going to start moving things out of my van and into my new cabin. Someone in the comments called it a cabin and I liked that and that's what I'm going to call it because it is a little rough. Also I wanted to um, mention that the wallpaper you know is probably the original and so I will be doing something to change that. I'm not sure what yet. Um, either I'll get those stick on tiles or a different wallpaper and the same wallpapers in the bathroom and I'll probably just paint it in here. Well, sorry for the really short video. I ran around all over Quartzsite today looking for a trailer hitch extension. <laughs> Believe it or not, with all these RV places in town and I cannot find a trailer hitch extension. So I'll probably end up ordering one from Amazon um, because the um, I got a trailer hitch. The trailer came with a trailer hitch, but it won't fit all the way into my receiver. So I need an extension for it. Um, it's no big deal. I just can't pull my trailer until I get it. And I also have to get a brake control um, uh, in my van. And I have to change the wiring between the van and the trailer. I know none of that makes sense, or at least it doesn't to me. I get it, but it's hard to explain. So, for now, the trailer and I are just sitting, and um, I love it. My house is an absolute mess. I spent most of the, the day running around trying to get those things done. And then we just got back from um, Jerry and Lynn's playing a card game called Baseball and Yahtzee. And that was a lot of fun. So... Since the video is so short, I think I'll add a couple love letters to CC. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Okay, I know it's kind of dark in here. Let me turn this light on. That'll help a little bit. Ooh, spooky looking. Anyway, 
first love letter to CC. Parker, a spoiled child and a mother voyeur. Too bad. LOL, LOL. I said, did you crack yourself up there? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Uh, the old biddy must be broke posting all this trivia. I said, yes, please, send me money. Um, um, sorry about the lighting, you guys. Uh, <laughs> did you have lip plumping injections? Oh, perhaps they're puffy from all that dental work. I hate the dentist. Um, I hate the dentist, too. My lips weren't puffy. Um, but lip plumping, do you think I'd have all these old nasty uh, wrinkles here if I'd had? But no, I would never do that because it is so obvious when people have that done. I just do not like that look at all. But if you can think of another way to get rid of all this, I'd, I'd listen. Um, this one is from one of my regular mental midgets, and she said, oh, I mentioned that somebody had bought me a, um, a carbon monoxide detector, and, um, it was somebody, one of my subscribers bought it for me, and I was very appreciative, it was very nice. She says, why do people have to buy this for you? Get your butt out there and buy your own safety equipment. You use everyone. Saying go keto in every video gets old. Enough already. We get it. I just told her you're free to leave at any, one time, at any time. No one's keeping you here. And, oh... Okay, here's the last one. Anyone who has a brain should know when you use any device powered by propane in an RV, you always need a carbon monoxide detector. Playing with death is beyond stupid. I said, well, not everyone is as smart as you, I guess. So anyway, thanks you guys, and I think we'll see you tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then the next day. Okay, good night.